Hello everybody, welcome back to Juno Workshop. Today we're gonna start painting. I'm going to paint the frame on black. Make sure you get every single color of it in this one. The frame is a part that you will see a lot on it if you don't get everything on it. As you see right there. See all those little spots on white. You need to go over and make sure everything well taken care of. I'm going to frame, we're going to get all the details at the end. Then I will show in the video. See this little spot. I'm going to paint the other side as well. That will be our frame. Let's paint it, not detail yet. Now we're going to paint our body and uh, hood and see how it's going to look at the end. We're going to start by painting our hood. Over your hood. I hope paint it. Let's do our body. 
See how it's gonna look at the end. Your body and on gold. I changed it to gold because I got already too many blue cars painted. So I want to see how it's gonna look, and it looks pretty good to me. Everybody, welcome back to the Universe Shop. Today I'm showing my 1967 Pontiac GTO from MPC SQ Level 2. As you see, I painted on gold instead of gold blue as it shows in the box, which I already painted two cars on blue. So I want to do some change on it. And a lot of these cars back in the days they used to paint in like these kind of colors like that. Um, what can I say? Um, let's show the car. Um, I leave my mufflers on the side, as you see. Uh, our, our wheels are in chrome. It comes with a nice set of good year tires. As you saw in the beginning of the video, our interior is full detail. You can see right there. If I can get you closer. The interior is all full detail, those are not decal, everything is painted. I put my bars in, and I kind of do a stock in a pro street at the same time, so kind of loaded. It has a fire extinguisher, which is the little, the little one right there, the red. Um, I did all my trims and silver around the front glass, real glass and the doors. My handles are in silver. I got my GTO decals inside. I painted in silver. Um, it's not a lot of details outside. My front bumper and real bumper are in chrome. I put my signal light on yellow amber. My insert grills are on black. I let my GTO, if you see right there, in chrome, it has a pony sign right in the front of the hood. Through here, you can see the engine. 
can see the lights in there. Um, after I paint all the car, you know, the all the the trims and the decals, um, I sand it down with Scotch Bright, which is fine uh, sponge, and I did like two coats of clear, and I'm very happy about it. It looks pretty nice. Uh, if you see in the bag, it has a, in a real body panel. It has a name of Pontiac. It's kind of bloody to see. It has an old decor right in the trunk. Came out pretty nice. It has a, in the front and the back, a tag of 1967. Let me show a little bit on the bottle. Um, and you see, I call my mufflers. The reason why I cut it off, I kind of don't like how they end. So I cut my headers from here, there, and I hook up my muffles in the side of the car. Um, I actually had a, like a gas line, would be this yellow one, all the way to the back with a fuel pump. That will be our axle, drive shaft, transmission engine. Uh, let me show you a little bit on the engine. The hood comes out. Most of them, the hood comes out. A lot of them don't. You gotta just glue them and leave them there. So I'll do a little wiring myself, which this will be my first time doing wiring. I put my negative in the battery, my positive, and I did uh, wiring in my spark plugs. And that yellow line coming from the back is right inside the carburetor, so it shows like a gas line going on it. Let's see if I can get it closer here. Our engine is in chrome, our VAR covers in chrome, our intake, our block is uh, on red. First time doing wiring something different. I mean, it's not the greatest of all, but I think it looks pretty cool. Well, that will be our 1967 Pontiac GTO from MPC, SKU Level 2. I hope everybody likes it. Go to Juno Workshop, subscribe and like and share. God bless and be safe. Thank you everybody for watching.